Alright, so we have three more offers to check. Hopefully this will be a little bit quicker. Right now, there are just so many trade offers to go through. And uh, it's kind of just killer. I don't exactly know what offers to take. I'm just going with my gut feeling. And I know a lot of people are going to be pissed I didn't take their offer as well. So hopefully you guys can cut me some slack here. Uh, so in this one, we got Eric Lindros. We got Carter, Petrangelo, and 16,000 coins. Not a bad trade offer, so I will delay that. Uh, Johansson, Bufflin, Cronwall, and Burns. Whole bunch of Dallas players. I, get, I mean, Dallas changed team players. Um, I will delay it. Not a bad trade offer there. Victor Hedman, Bacchus, Latang, Bobby Ryan. All right. Okay. Uh, we also got Claude Giroux and 17,000 coins. I mean, straight up Philadelphia player for a Philadelphia player. Not bad, I guess. Uh, but we'll have to see. Bodker, as well as uh, Movember Duclair, 11,000 coins. I will delay that. Uh, Zetterberg and 90,000 coins. Wow, what a trade offer. Kind of like that deal as well. Uh, Parise, Latang, 1.1k. All right. We got Voracek, Drysaddle, Marlowe, and Falk as well. All right, all right. We will delay that. We also got Strike, Sharp, Bozak. Not the greatest Movember cards, but we will delay it. Doug Gilmore and Gostas Bear. Um, okay, I will delay that. Kreider, Marlowe, Murray, and uh, Justin Falk. Whole bunch of players, a 4 for 1 plus 5,000 coins. Alright, I'll take another look at that. Uh, we got Sutter as well. Probably not going to take that for sure. Uh, Hall, Nash, and Marlowe. Two solid players right there. Plus Marlowe and 5,000 coins. So, I'll delay that. Monaghan, Hamilton, Ellis, 25,000. Uh, we got 125,000 coins straight up. Uh, Gilmore, Bozak, Kadri, Mitch Marner, the Toronto package. Oh man. I mean, that is enticing. I don't know. I won't delay it though. Bobrovsky, Stafford, Ryan O'Reilly with 50,000 coins. Definitely uh, will consider that as well. And Shattenkirk, Schneider, and Versteeg. So those are the trade offers for Lindros. I will kind of make my decision now. And I'll tell you which ones I kind of like. Alright, so I considered some of the trades. And I think I kind of know what I'm going to be taking here. Uh, there is a pretty solid deal, deal here. There is that Henrik Zetterberg and 90,000 coins. And there is also um, one trade that I kind of like here. Let me... See if I can get to it. Hall, Nash, and Patrick Marlowe. I mean, it's two solid players. I do like Hall. I do like Nash. Patrick Marlowe is kind of just an addition as well as 5,000 coins. And I think though it's going to be between those two offers. I think I'm going to be taking the Hall, Nash, and Marlowe. I mean, the Zetterberg deal is good. Don't get me wrong. With 90,000 coins, I'm not really hunting for pucks or hunting for coins. I'm hunting more for players, I guess, and Hall and Nash together. That's just an awesome duo. So I'm going to be taking this deal. Enjoy your Eric Lindros. It was my, I guess, spare Eric Lindros I had in my item inbox that I pulled from a pack. If you watched that last pack opening video. But anyways, we got two more players left. Victor Hedman and Anze Kopitar. So moving on to Victor Hedman. He's got 19 trade offers that we have to check. So let's go through them right now. Uh, first one, we got Movember, Justin Falk, as well as 30,000 coins. Second deal, we got Dumba, a Movember card. We also have 200,000 coins and a bronze contract. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be taking the coins for sure, so I will, I guess, delay, kind of reject that. Uh, Henrik Zetterberg and Brett Hull, okay, two Detroit players. Uh, Mike Modano, Dylan Larkin, all right. Uh, Nelson, Henrik, 200,000 coins, okay, all right. Uh, Kadri, Pro, Cogliano, Hutchinson, and 275,000 coins. That is a pretty big amount of coins. I will delay that. Suter, Giroux. All right. Daniel Sedin, Movember card. Not sure if I want to take that. I don't think he's worth too much. Uh, Vancouver's not doing too well this year, from what I know. So I don't think he's going to get too big of an upgrade. Duncan Keith, Henrik Zetterberg, and John Gibson. Okay, not a bad deal. Eberle, Girardi, 15,000 coins. Eh, okay, I will delay that. Tavares, Rantanen, international player of the game, 20,000 coins. Uh, we got also got Pollock and 36,000. Uh, Jamie Ben, Dan Girardi. Okay, I will delay that. Monaghan, Perry, Marchand. Uh, Movember Monaghan, in fact. Uh, not sure if I want to take that. I will delay that. P.K. Subban with the Toronto change team. Never will see that, I don't think. 111,000 and 111 coins. Uh, okay, I will delay that. Ray Borg, also with the Toronto change team. 75,000 coins as well. Delay that. Uh, two more Toronto guys. Uh, Toronto change team guys. McDonough and Camilleri. And let's see what else we have. We have the junior flashback, Duncan Keith. And uh, just a regular Drew Doughty. So, those are the players we have for Victor Hedman. I'll go ahead and make my decision now. 
Okay, so I think I've made my decision here. I will go through the trade offers once again of the of the offers that I like the most. So the first one, uh, Justin Falk and 30,000 coins. Kind of interested in. The only thing is, I'm not sure if Falk is going to get a team with your card or something else to increase his value. So I don't think he'll equal up to Victor Hedman's uh, value at least. Uh, there are some coin deals, which is not bad. Definitely one of the, my most favorite offers here, Henrik Zetterberg and Brett Hull. Uh, just solid player overall, Henrik Zetterberg, and a legend, Brett Hall. That's just an awesome card for uh, Victor Hedman. Let's keep going here. I mean, Mike McDaniel, Dylan Larkin, not a bad couple of players. Just, I think the other deal is better. Nelson Henrik, good November cards, solid amount of coins. Just not too interested in this o trade overall, I guess. Uh, once again, 275000 some more coins, I guess. Um, what other deals did I like? I mean, I did like this deal as well. Duncan Keith, Henrik Zetterberg, and John Gibson. The only thing is, if I were to take the other deal with Brett Hull and Henrik Zetterberg, or this deal with Duncan Keith and Gibson, I would rather take a Brett Hull over Keith and Gibson. It just, uh, I'd rather have one solid legend card than two players that are kind of like iffy. I mean, Duncan Keith, don't get me wrong, is worth quite a bit, but John Gibson, he's like a maybe 20, 30k player. Rather would just let it add all up and get a Brett Hull. I mean, that would pretty be pretty nice to add to the collection so i think that is kind of the final deal there there are some other good deals as well let me just check um i mean some solid november cards and stuff like that i just don't think he's worth um victor hedman's value so i will be taking that deal so enjoy your victor hedman i will take henrik zetterberg and brett hall and we'll move on to the final player 94 overall on zay kopitar Okay, so let's get right into it. The final player of this trade day. Uh, we got a gold contract to start it off with. I guess that's pretty good. Uh, what else do we have here? We got Johnny Goudreau, Movember. All right, I think I've checked his value before. I kind of wanted to buy him before. And he's worth about 300000 just about. So that's not a bad deal, I guess. Uh, Skog, Namaligo. Uh, don't want to take that. Dumba, Movember, Parisa, Parisa, Parise, and Kessel. All right. 350,000 coins and Sullivan. Okay. Nicholas Lidstrom, Luke Robitaille, Legend card. Okay, pretty solid deal. I do like Legend cards. Uh, Hartnell, Vatanen, 272,000 coins. Definitely people trying to give basically everything they got for Anze Kopitar for this 94 overall edition. Uh, Kopitar, Bishop, Johnson, 50,000. Uh, we also got Brett Hull. We got Pavel Datsuk. Oh, man. I do like that milestone card. I'm not going to lie. So I will delay that as well. Uh, he also threw in, sorry, Roman Yossi and 45,000 coins. So I mean, pretty solid deal. Uh, Paul Walker, two Brums. All right, I will delay that. Evgeny Malkin as well. I don't know how much he's worth anymore, but uh, Malkin as well. That is a pretty nice card. Uh, Tyler Sagan, Anze Kopitar. I mean, looks like he's trying to upgrade that Anze Kopitar, the 89 edition to the 94 edition with a Tyler Sagan. So... I will delay that. Forsberg, we got Duncan Keith, Drew Doughty, and Tuka Rask, okay. As well as Movember, Phil Kessel, as well as Shea Weber. Oh man, we got some trade offers that are going to be competing with each other. So anyways, I'm going to make my decision now. I'll be right back with the result, I guess. Okay guys, so I think I made my decision here. Uh, it's a pretty hard one for sure. I don't exactly know which one I'm going to take. I'm just going off with my gut feeling here. And there are just so many good deals to take for Anze Kopitar. So anyways, the first deal, there are some new ones that came in like this one. Patrice Bergeron, Ryan Kessler, Ben Bishop, and uh, Corey Perry All-Star Game card. Pretty solid deal. The only thing is, Corey Perry is a solid player. I mean, I would definitely want him to be on my team. The thing is, he won't be getting any more upgrades. He's not like a Movember card where his overall can just keep going up. So I'm a little bit iffy on picking that one as well if I'm planning to sell him later in the end of the year when the market starts crashing. I don't exactly know if I want to take that deal. There is also Jeff Carter, Movember. Uh, pretty solid deal as well. I mean, Jeff Carter maybe has a run to get a Team of the Year card. The only thing is, his overall is kind of low. It's not the same as Anze Kopitar. I don't really want to bank on that uh, Team of the Year prediction, so I will kind of delay that as well. Uh, there is Johnny Goudreau, of course. Uh, let me keep going here. What other deals that I liked? Lidstrom, Robitaille. I mean, um, Nick, Nick Lidstrom is 94 overall. Just defenders do not go for too much, so I don't really want to take that. Um, the deals I am really leaning towards, I guess, is Pavel Datsuk, Roman Yossi, and 45k. Just having Pavel Datsuk on the team on my first line center spot uh, definitely 
entices me to take it. The only thing is, he's only one overall point higher than his uh, regular gold card. So, that is kind of like the deciding factor for me. I don't know if I want just a one point higher boost. Because I kind of do like this deal at the back. Evgeny Malkin, once again, solid player. The thing is, I already do have him. And I don't want to take a 90 overall for a 94 overall. I just feel like uh, I can get something a little bit better. And the deal I'm kind of leaning towards the most is this deal. Phil Kessel and Shea Weber. And I did take a look at the standings. Of, uh, uh, took a look at the standings of what teams are going to make it to the playoffs. And Pittsburgh is definitely one of the contenders right now. Uh, Phil Kessel, I mean, has a chance of getting that Team of the Year card. And I just know by experience, Phil Kessel is just an awesome card to have on your left wing. Especially having him as a Movember card. I mean, if he gets like a 91 or 92 overall card by the end of this year, just having a 94 or 95 skating attribute on that card is just fantastic. With the shooting, I just cannot be beat, I don't think. With Shea Weber as well, solid defender that I can get with Anze Kopitar. So you know what? I will be taking that deal. It is definitely maybe controversial to you guys, but Phil Kessel, Shea Weber, I don't think I can go wrong with that deal. So anyways, that is basically it for this trade day. I'll wrap up the episode here and we'll go through some of the trade offers that we did take. Okay guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode of the first mini trade day that I've done. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit different than what I usually do for these like 10 or 12 player trade days where I kind of... Uh, go in the marketplace and find out all the market values and just take the best value this trade offer or trade day is more of just picking the deal that I kind of like the most and I, I don't know if you guys kind of enjoy that maybe you guys like the other way where I kind of examine all the player values and go off that you guys can let me know what uh, type of trade day you like more and that can kind of at least point me in the right direction of how these trade days should go from now on because as you guys can see I mean as you guys have already seen at least uh, we've gotten like 20, 30 really good trade offers on every single player. And it really does make it tough, especially at those end decisions I have to make when I accept a trade offer. So you guys can let me know some suggestions on how you want these trade days to be run. As well as let me know any suggestions for players I should buy in the next trade day. What players, low end, medium, high end players that you want me to put up on the trade block. You guys can let me know about that as well. But that is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this trade day. Let me know how it went. But that is pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, there it is. A new player that came from Robin Lane.